And for the next fight, we got Pat Sabatini uh, going up against Tristan Boondock Conley. Uh, this fight here should be an interesting one. It's a, it's a battle of two grapplers. Uh, Pat Sabatini's 13 and 3. Um, you know, fighting out of NPR Endurance MMA. Uh, he's 30 years old, 5'8". Uh, uh, notable fights, he did fight Tony Gravely uh, early in his career uh, back in 2016. Uh, he has one, one knockout with 10 submission wins in two decisions. Uh, he's never been knocked out, never been submitted. Uh, now, he is on a two-fight win streak. Uh, both these guys have similar styles, uh, both grapplers. Uh, but I do give Pat a, a short, a very small advantage um, in striking, um, even though he does have less KOs. Uh, he is in better shape. Uh, two grapplers uh, usually end up in a stand-up battle. Uh, not a lot of technique. Um, probably end up looking like Damian Maya and uh, Ben Askew uh, mm -hmm. type of stand-up fight. But let's hope not, and let's hope this gets to the floor. Yeah, Tristan Conley coming in here. Uh, with a 14 and 6 record, I believe he's on a six fight win streak, if I'm not mistaken. He's going to be the one, uh, plus 175 underdog, which is, I mean, if you're looking for a stab, man, that seems like a good one. Uh, 35 years old, uh, he's going to have a two inch height advantage. Uh, reach, nah, it doesn't give me one here on topology, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume he's going to have a, a good, good size reach on him. Uh, one thing about Tristan Conley, he's dropping his last fight. He took on short notice against Michael Pereira. Uh, he was fighting that one at 170. He's dropping down. He usually fights at 55, and now he's dropping down to fight Sabatini at 45. Big so jump. this is a big, uh, big, big jump down. You definitely want to look uh, uh, weigh-ins and see how he's looking on weigh-ins day um, and whatnot. He, I did hear in an interview recently that he did have back surgery, and he was that's part of the reason why he did have a two-year layoff coming into this fight. Um, other than that, the man's a black belt. He does get it done. Uh, he, he's very gritty. He's very hard to put away. The man even says he pr pretty much got to kill a man to get him out of there. And he, it's true. You do got to break him out and get him out of there. He will break you down. He will grind you out on the feet. It's... He's not he's not uh, that much of a threat, but uh, yeah, I, I think this is gonna be a grinding grinding affair here. Right, Conley. Uh, yeah, it's fourteen and six record. Uh, four of those coming by knockout, nine by submission. Uh, he does get a, a lot of love for beating Piera. Um, you know, at one seventy. Now, mind you, personally, I think he loses that fight eight times out of ten. But he did come out with the ten victory. <laughs> he did come out with the victory. Uh, neither fighter is gonna knock your socks off on the feet. Um, I see this just like uh, you said as a grind them out fight, uh, probably ending in a decision. Um, as far as the odds on on the uh, over and under, uh, it's over two and a half is minus two ten on my bookie. Under two and a half is plus one seventy. Um, for my pick, I, I I'm gonna lean towards Sabatini in this. Um, you know, which is in my opinion, uh, you know, a little better of the grapplers. Uh, minus two fifty five. Uh, like he mentioned, Tristan is plus one seventy five. Uh, not a bad pick as well. Um, if you are if you are kind of in the middle with it, uh, I am gonna go Sabatini. Yeah, um, I got bet online. I got Tristan Conley plus one ninety. Um, that doesn't seem like a too bad stab. You definitely want to wait until weigh-ins to see how he looks coming down to forty five. Um, if he if he does look good, he's gonna be the bigger man in there. I'm definitely gonna like a stab on on Conley there.